This is the program Sample Wiz. It's a really cool uh, sampling program that I mean you can do a lot with. And what we were doing with it was a lot of real time sampling for the song "Everything in Its Right Place" by Radiohead. So basically, the way it works. I mean, he'd be singing in the middle of the song. I would hit start, and it would come up with this waveform. Like, it would, sh the wave literally show up on the screen as you're recording it. In my head, my head was that you tried to say what? What was that you tried to say? You hit stop, and then you have this, like, waveform diagram available to play with your fingertips. You're able to do different pitches from up here. You can do like all different octaves um, and just record sounds live. Uh, Radiohead usually uses a Chaos XY pad, uh, which works really well for them. Uh, and um, we didn't have a Chaos pad, so we were trying to find some alternates. Alternative, you know, something to do, and iPads are obviously set up in such a way that you could accomplish that, and this app really uh, came through. It, pretty much accomplished all the sounds that we wanted. We were surprised by how well it was able to manipulate sound real time um, and give us those same effects that would have been, you know, chaos. I don't know how much a Chaos, chaos XY pad costs, but uh, this app is only like, what? No more than five or $10. I mean, it's, it's just pretty incredible what we were able to get it to do. The, the in the song the most noticeable parts are definitely when he says like kid a at the start and basically do you sample that kid a part you would take it you would you can flip the wave and just play it back uh play it backwards and make some really weird sounds Then throughout the song, I'm really doing little things like when he sings everything, I might add a bunch of more like recordings of him saying everything over it. it they just keep playing it, it gives it more like a, like a chorusing effect. And I also like, during the verses, like to repeat the words. There are two colors in my head, I repeat the two colors in my head. And then, so those are more like, during the song, are more like effects you get, but the, like the real cool part about playing this is at the end of the song. At the end of the song, what I do, you go to this other menu, and it, here you can adjust the attack, the decay, sustain, release. What I would do, because this was the last song we performed live, just put the release time on the maximum, 10 seconds, like the everything in its right place, you record that, and then you're basically doing all the audio. You're saying the everything. I'm trying to get that to hold, sustain over it, like the everything. So when we were playing this live, we had we had a drummer, bass player, and a guy singing, and then you had myself sampling and someone using a like digital pedal with a sampler. So what happened is they, they all walked off the stage while the people with the equipment stayed up with the piano looping as I played like the last parts like of his sampled voice live. And then I added that release in to, so that way we could all walk off the stage and it made for a really cool closing. Yeah. 